Hello friends, once again welcome to BISPtrainings.com In today's example, I am going to show you how to perform cumulative distribution on HR expense records. So as we have been working on designing HR expense model, in today's example, I am going to perform the statistical analytics called cumulative distribution. So before we actually build in Tableau, we see how it how it what is the purpose of the cumulative distribution as well okay. now if you look at this example uh, as per the definition cumulative distribution required in multiple scenario especially when you want to perform trend analysis across multiple dimension the cumulative distribution distributor distribution is a plot of number of observation right the number of observation in this example x axis for a which fall in or a below interval we can define the boundary of the observation as well in this example the what the diagram shows over here this shows the number of students and the marks obtained in the statistical test so this value is cumulative over here okay. let's take more simpler example more realistic example so you are planning to open a grocery store and you would like to know how many people in a specific geographic area spend more than six thousand dollar as a grocery item in a given year right so I have a there's a kind of bin so you see between zero to one thousand dollar one thousand two thousand dollar and frequency so if you look at this part of this it is like a histogram how many people can afford uh, grocery items expense on grocery items so this is how you read there are 97 people can afford the grocery item between three thousand to four thousand dollar in a given year. The cumulative frequency is nothing a uh, aggregation of next values. So 22 plus 47, 45 plus 57 plus 97 and so on. This is my final value. When I plot a chart, it looks like this way somehow. In cumulative distribution, the calculation can also be done from bottom to up. This is the next example where you can see in the table above you can you can also start the cumulative distribution from bottom right so rather than reading from top you can start from bottom as well so if your manager like to know the query where uh, they, he wants to identify how many people are there who can spend more than five thousand dollar as a grocery item in a given year it's our limits are defined over here so frequency value will remain same in the cumulative frequency it will start calculating from bottom to up the calculation will take place from bottom to up so these are two simple examples which demonstrate what cumulative distribution is now in our example i'm going to show you how to do cumulative distribution in tableau we would continue to use our hr model so i quickly browse you through with my hr model um, this is our hr model which consists of employee expense type. I've taken a subset of the whole model employee expense group, unit cost, and organization wise cost. So we go to our model to sheet and see what we like to analyze. I like to see employee total expenses across different department. Across different department. So these are different department, and this is my employee expenses, right? Now I like to see this with respect to a cumulative um, frequency. So what I do first, I apply expression formula on this. Step first, we create histogram and step second, we create cumulative frequency. So I create histogram where I prepare employee expense. Okay, before doing this, we need to create a bin on uh, employee expense total. Okay, so I'll take employee expense total and you can right click and create bin. And I call this expense bin, expense category bin. And what interval do you like to use it? And click on load and see the lowest value is 59, the highest value is 830 of 829 so I create an interval of 100 100 
so there will be four eight bars now I use this because when you create bin it automatically turns out to be a fact over here it turns out to be dimension sorry expense group over here expense category bin I drag out at column and number of records I drag out over here in rows number of records so this is going to be my this is basically a kind of histogram 100 value is very little what I'm going to do I'm going to change this bin <coughs> employee category bin from 100 to 500 but a lot of intervals are there which is not making it easy to understand so employee category bin added this 100 is not making sense let's make it 500 so it create an interval of 500 each 500 I could see most of the records are falling between 0 to 500 only this is my histogram now let's convert to cumulative cumulative uh, frequency so I use cumulative distribution frequency so what I'm going to do it next uh, I apply running total on top of this add table calculation add a running total on expense category bin I'm going to perform second level calculation as well in addition to running total I also use a percentage of total okay. and table of table calculation I use expense category bin click on apply and this is your chart this is a cumulative distribution chart I could even see this chart in terms of line chart as well this cumulative distribution chart with an interval of 500 in addition to this you can also display the original value so the original value is your number of records you can drag and drop put in a z axis so this is my cumulative distribution for employee expenses and this is my original value number of records we could display this in terms of bar chart or line chart now this cumulative distribution is extensively in your finance so you can make use of it and define the, the distribution value of some major across different interval so that's it for today thanks for watching today's video should you have any question please feel free to write to us you can access all the material learning material and the exercises we use in this example in our shade drive thank you should you have any question please feel free to write to us you can also make a note of our job our site portal thank you and have a great day ahead